hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'm going to show you how to add a timer and also a stopwatch on the prism live studio this is a live streaming and video production software that you can use to stream your live church service both on facebook youtube and instagram as well i've also done a video on that on how you can use this software to set up your streaming both on facebook youtube and instagram as well you can also go ahead and check out those videos and learn more on how you can utilize this live streaming and video production software to also use it to record your live video production both in TS format MKV and also MP4 format as well but in today's video I'm going to show you how you can be able to add a timer on your live video production and also a stopwatch okay so in case you love the videos you have seen here on this YouTube channel consider subscribing also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever I drop new videos here on this my YouTube channel and without any further ado let me show you how you can add a timer and also your stopwatch on the prism live studio okay now the first thing you are going to do is to go ahead and open your browser and download this live streaming and video production software called the prism live studio okay you can see it here so go ahead and click on the link i dropped in the description below to be able to download this software you can also visit their website or you can click on the link i dropped in the description below you get straight to this particular page i also did a video on how you can connect their mobile app and use it to set up your phone camera on their software you can also check that out as well and once you're done downloading and installing this software the next thing you are going to do is to sign up using your gmail your yahoo mail your twitter your facebook your twitch you can use any of it to sign up on this software and once you sign up you're going to see a beautiful dashboard just like the one you are seeing right here on the screen and once you're here you've already bring in your video live video or anything you want to do with it now let me quickly show you if you want to bring in your video all you have to do is to click on this plus sign here okay so most of you that are, are, are used to obs won't find it difficult navigating on this software you can see the webcam video capture and every other thing that you can see right on the screen here so this actually looks more like obs but it's 100 percent free and it doesn't require any third party plugin for you to be able to make use of so everything I already pre-installed inside the software so you don't have to install any other plugin to be able to use all the features put the ndi source and every other thing that you need to do with it now how do you add your timer okay so once you're here the next thing you're going to do is to click on this plus sign here this add button you are seeing right there so click on it and you're going to see the clock widget okay so you are seeing the clock widget right at the bottom there okay on the prism tab so click on it and you click on ok now once you click on ok you can name it anything you want but i'm just going to leave it as the default name okay so once you're done just click on ok and from here you can see a lot of templates here okay so all this you are seeing here are timers don't worry i'm also going to show you how to convert them to stopwatch okay so all this here you can see them all of them so you can select any one you like and you can customize them as well now okay now go over to more details when you go over to more details you can see the clock type right there from the clock type you can set it on current time okay the stream time and also on timer as well you can see the timer there and also your stop watch you can see the timer you can see the stop watch there you can see the timer from the timer you can set your hour maybe you want it to be on five hours and then 30 minutes okay and zero seconds you can see here the countdown the sound effect if i want any sound to it and i can start it you see once i start it the timer will start immediately you can see it there the timer will start immediately and there over there you have your stopwatch so once you click on the stopwatch you see you see the stopwatch control button there you see the start once you start it the stopwatch will start immediately and you can also reset it as well don't forget you can also reset it and also don't forget you have the color the background color and the text there you can set it anything you want so you can also remove this default stopwatch there and maybe set it on show time let's just put it on show time you can see and select any color that you want to make use of you can see the color there so you can just navigate through and set your color and the transparency there if you want to make it um full and if you want to reduce it so you know you want it to be shown anything you want to do you can also do that here this software looks more of like obs but i call it um an upgraded version of obs okay so the creators actually looked at obs and 
they, they solved most of OBS problem because uh, the, in OBS it required third party plugin for you to be able to do all of this. You can actually do this without using a third party plugin. But here, everything you are doing here, body NDI source, every other thing, body um, the virtual starting your virtual camera and every other thing, you don't require any third party plugin. So they solve the those problem on OBS and think OBS user won't find it difficult navigating through this software. And also, if you have any problem navigating through the software, I have couple of other videos that can help you and put you through as well okay so go to template and you can also set your your timer okay i already set it on five you can select a different template for it okay so once you go to details and you selected your clock type the current your time or your stream time your time or your stopwatch you go over to template and select any type of template you want for it okay so you can set any type of template you want i like to use this one okay so get ready five see so it tells you that so that you will know okay you can start it you know that in the next five minutes you're meant to do this or you're meant to do that you're meant to start this broadcast and you're also meant to start this or whichever one you want to start as well and if you feel like you need to add more a uh, fizzy or anything you want to add to you can go to filters and once you're on filters let me just reduce this a little bit once you're on filters click on the add button the plus sign there and select the effect filters go to color correction color and you can work with the gamma saturation whichever thing you want to do you can also do that right here just add some a fizzy to it and once you're done you can also enlarge this you can see the way i'm enlarging it so you can just you can also enlarge this and position it on your live broadcast you can see there you can just position it there so get ready in five okay so you see how it's looking there so if you still want to change it all you have to do is just to double click on it double click on it and you see this here so you can just reset it again on how you want it to be see select the template you want to make use of and click on ok and you can see the stopwatch there is currently ongoing you can also reduce the stopwatch if you don't want it to get too big like that so you can also reduce it and just position it somewhere so you can just position it somewhere anywhere you want it to be in and you can see how the stopwatch is looking so while you're doing your broadcast you are also looking at it to know when to end and when to stop and also the time you give to the person when you should stop and when you shouldn't stop if you if you want it to only be on your preview window just click on this i sign here off it put it here and you can click on it leave it it will be on your preview window so anytime you want to project anything on your output off it and project whatever thing you want to project and on it back again and you can use it to monitor your program as well so in case you love all the videos you're seeing on this youtube channel consider subscribing also turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever i drop new videos here on my youtube channel so thank you very much and see you in our next update hopefully if you subscribe you will be notified once that update drops.